Yeah, in this uh, video, what I'm going to show is uh, the Teufel uh, Birdfish guitar. Uh, Teufel Birdfish um, is a uh, guitar which is made by Ulrich uh, Teufel, who I was speaking to on the telephone uh, earlier. Um, and uh, under the sound check um, uh, section of the Teufel uh, site, there are seven sound files of the birdfish uh, with different um, tone bars attached. Um, if we just go to... Uh, uh, guitars. Uh, here's the Teufel birdfish here. Um, and uh, the birdfish, as you can see, is a very modern design. It's uh, a wonderful piece of design and these bars here are the tone bars and it comes with either older or maple um, and they can be specially ordered to mahogany etc well on the uh, see what it says about the tone bars yeah, there they are there um, it says they define the basic sound of the guitar um, now the interesting thing about the design is this diagram here which as you can see through the uh, fish and the bird, uh, which are the um, two main structural components of the bar, of the guitar, which are joined together by this bar here on which the pickups are mounted. Um, the load of the strings um, is actually uh, taken through the tone bars through the fish here. So therefore, the, um, the wood characteristics are actually uh, represented through the dampening effect that they have on the vibration of the guitar strings. Now, um, if uh, the tone bars didn't make any difference, then uh, obviously the different materials in the tone bar wouldn't actually affect the tone. Um, and as we've got these uh, files, I was speaking to Ulrich earlier, and Ulrich was telling me that um, hollow tone bars don't actually make a difference to to this particular guitar um, basically because the stiffness of the guitar um, is in, in a jazz hollow body um, actually reacts in a different way to a uh, solid body um, as represented by the way that this guitar is put together um, now let's get on to the uh, exciting bit. Here we have an FFT analyzer which is um, FFT fast Fourier transfer and that looks at the uh, frequency domain of your signal which is where the timbre comes from. This here is an oscilloscope and the oscilloscope uh, actually measures amplitude in relation to time so that's a time domain representation of what the guitar is doing. Um, and then this is a spectrogram uh, which has frequency on the vertical axis, axis and time on the bottom axis. So that's a frequency and time um, comparison. Uh, the uh, uh, the frequency domain name gives magnitude in decibel and frequency plotted against each other. So um, all of these elements are actually what make up the timbre of your signal. So here in uh, iTunes I've got the uh, recorded sound files and the two which we can compare absolutely spot on directly is the Birdfish Maple with the Humbucker uh, bridge pickup and the Birdfish Older with the Humbucker bridge pickup. Um, so I'm going to play those ones first um, and uh, then I, I actually took a screenshot of the frozen FFT analysis and you can see for yourself looking at the oscilloscope and the spectrogram uh, where, the, uh, um, where the difference is actually as represented by frequency, amplitude and uh, magnitude, uh, how they compare uh, with each other which is the wood aspect of how the wood in the tone bars affects 
the output um, of these guitars as perceptible sound. Um, just on my setup here, these were recorded um, on a mic amps. Uh, Ulrich uses Bogner amps in his uh, uh, test room. Uh, there's a picture actually on his website, which I'll just show you. Um, Just go here, see if we can uh, get back to that screen I was at earlier. Uh, my internet is slow, which is typical. Um, just because I'm doing a stream capture. Right, yeah, here we go. Um, uh, sound check, that's what we want. So, here you can see there's a range of uh, bogner amps here. there um, so anyway the sound was mic'd um, one of these amps um, uh, in the in the studio but it's a it's an absolute sort of a b if you like so anyway let's let's just uh, do this here um, so I just need to get my analyzers going um, as I'm talking you'll see uh, my voice um, coming up that this here freezes after so many seconds of me talking. Uh, <coughs> oh, mm. oh, hold on. Mm. Oh, do, do. Right, okay. Um, so let's just uh, do this here. Let's get this one going. Um, and we will get. Start playing. Here we go. Uh, Okay, so that's the uh, older, and then here is the maple, which is the A B. <laughs> Right, okay, I'm going to play those again in a minute, but what I'm just going to do now is I'm going to uh, just reduce these here and uh, these are the earlier screen captures um, you can see that one there which is uh, the one we just did which is this one here and you can see this plot here is pretty much uh, what what you see here and the other one is representative as well uh, so it's the old bridge okay so uh, this is the Maple Bridge, and this is the Older Bridge. So if we compare them, uh, you can see here that in the 100 to 200 hertz range, um, the peaks in the magnitude here are significantly different here. Uh, this peak here just sort of between 50 and 100 say it's 75 Hertz again this is more pointed um, and you can see other differences as you come down the plot here and then as the uh, signal tapers off uh, again you can see see the differences um, so there is conclusive uh, proof that, that older and maple have a qualitative difference as a wood effect and the same sorts of differences and effects would be found from mahogany tone bars, koa tone bars, um, you know, the, the whatever material you want. If you had concrete, um, if you're a fan of Acme Bar gig uh, guitars, then spleen, uh, except spleen, I guess, just doesn't have the stiffness. So uh, uh, for that point of view, I guess... Um, 
it would be interesting to hear how the guitar sounded with no tone bars. Um, uh, so that's um, that's those two two things there. I'm just going to play this back. <laughs> 